Hello yarn friends, it's Morgan with Dream9 Design. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get released when I release new yarny related videos like today. We are going to be going through my yarn caddy and possibly everything else that I have underneath my table here, which is a ton of yarn. But let's jump to the intro real fast. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. The weekend is approaching us. It is Friday right now. I'm not sure when I'm gonna put this video out, either today or tomorrow, um, but this is something that needs to get done. I am working on quite a few projects, trying to get organized for um, the holiday times, and I have projects like this in this basket that could easily be in one of these drawers, and then I can have a spot for my coffee up here. Um, and we're gonna organize it. This is a one, two, three, four tiered um, little guy. They all have yarn in each and every single one of these. Um, I did get this as a gift from a friend. I do believe we got it from Ross um, and I absolutely love it. But what was supposed to be keeping my yarn organized next to my couch, because I love to crochet my big comfortable couch um, or my chair is this guy. Okay, but instead of becoming a organization for all my yarn and my projects, it has become a catch-all. So let's go ahead, let's jump through, let's see what we have in these drawers, what I can afford to put back in my yarn room. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, typically I try to uh, film in my yarn corner over here on Dream9 Design, but today we are out in the living room. So let's just jump into the video. Okay, so I think how I'm going to do this is I may just take each one of these drawers out and I don't know we'll, we'll see the best way to go through this so starting off it looks like I have one of my crochet pouches that I made and there I thought there were stitch markers inside but I just have notes from a crochet project um, and honestly I think I can get rid of this and this little bag is adorable I had lined it with nightmare before Christmas fabric um, but that does not need to be in here. So this, I'm going to make like a pile on the floor, I think. Um, that's going to be trash. <laughs> and then this needs to get put up. Um, scrap yarn. I was working on these really cute cup coasters and I was using all these bright colors, but I can safely say that I do not need to use that. I actually have this underneath my table and I think that anything that's smaller like this is going to go in here because I feel like most of the items in here I did start for another project that they're all smaller bits of yarn so I think everything that's smaller scraps like that will go in there and then things like this um I can't even remember what I was using this for will go back into my yarn cubby um this blue yarn. I think I used this on Coraline um, and I think that we will put that into a larger scrap bin. This is um, a bikini top that I was working on. Honestly, I don't think that I will ever finish this bikini top. So I don't know. I think that I will end up unraveling all of this. Let me do that really fast. Okay, I had to get something to sit on. It was a little bit too uncomfortable for me. Okay, so I finished winding that up. I have a bunch of this cotton yarn oh, that I am using for a washcloth. And I feel like this will probably stay in there because I love making washcloths. So this one is gonna go up top so that I can figure out how to organize this. Um, this little guy is attached to a project right now, so I don't necessarily want to keep it in there, but it is almost done, so I may put that in the bottom. It's the top to my little mushroom guy, so I'll add some or er, white stripes. So I think he'll go in the bottom. Um, this, oh, this was a crop top that I was making that I didn't have enough yarn for. Um, this one's going to go into my unfinished projects because, I don't know, I think I might have to pull that yarn out, but I'm not sure how well it's going to frog. And I think this is hilarious, guys, at the very bottom, so I'm almost done emptying out this drawer. And in the bottom of here are my little travel scissors, which is hilarious because I thought that I lost these. So, glad that I found those. So those are also going to stay in there. 
I think what I need to do, a little bit of candy trash, because, you know, who doesn't eat candy and goodies while they're crocheting? So I want a Nightmare Before Christmas sticker. So I think we'll put that actually on the outside right here. Okay, and then it looks like I have a lanyard and then the other single crop top. So I think this cup for that crop top, that is going to go into the bye-bye. I'm just going to throw it away. Honestly, sometimes I do that when I just don't want to deal with the leftovers. Now, these guys, I'll find uh, lanyards and I keep them because I will cut these off and I will um, crochet these really cute lanyards. I've sold a couple of them at my job because at my job you have to wear a lanyard. Um, but this is going to get taken out and put in, put somewhere else in my yarn room. And then I do have my tape measure. So I feel like the top drawer, I need to get like little dividers. I might actually crochet some dividers. I think that would be a really smart thing because then in here I could have, you know, little sectioned off areas. I might just need to make a trip to the dollar store. But scissors and tape measure are going to stay right here in the top. Moving on to drawer number two. It doesn't look too bad. Looks like we have some white fluffy yarn. So this is going to go into the stash to go back into the yarn room, into the cubbies. Um, I have this that just made a yarn, big old yarn spit. So I'm going to have to probably put this on my yarn baller and ball all this back up but for now it is going to go into the pile to go back into my room this was going well this is going to get thrown away this was a color work project that i was trying to do um it was going to be a mushroom with a little mushroom face with different colors but that is going to get scrapped this, I do have a bag somewhere of all my little scrappies that I throw in there because you can use them as stuffing. So this is probably going to go in there as well. Now, no idea what this was, but it's going to get tossed. And then I have a little stitch marker. So yay, come up on a stitch marker. That's always so great because if you're like me, I lose stitch markers a lot. And it's really nice to have them. This little guy is also going to go back into my stash. I'm gonna put it with the little scrappy bits, even though I feel like it's not really a lot of scraps. So that one was easy. That was drawer number two. We only have two more drawers to go, you guys. But I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee real fast. If you guys are still here with me, I would love to know how many times or how often you guys organize your yarn stuff. I know it's way too far and few in between. Now this, I had started a blanket and I was so excited for this blanket, okay? I was had three different colors picked out. I had this really awesome white, I had purple and I had gray. Now, unfortunately this is Red Heart soft yarn. So it's, even though it's a four weight yarn, just like the other four weight yarns that I was using for this project, the squares, the gauge was just way different. Um, and I figured instead of trying to figure out the new gauge for this yarn with every single square, cause there was 10 different squares or 10 different uh, patterns that you would do that you would make into squares and I just didn't want to deal with that. So this guy is going to go back into my stash. I think I'll probably actually cut off that square. Um, I'm really bad guys. Not all the time. I do not always feel like unraveling things and I might and I just cut them and I throw it away and I don't want to worry about it. Don't want to deal with it. Um, shoot. This was a really fun project that I was working on. I was making a new um, like plant cozy. Um, I feel like I should still stick to this. I was just coming up with a fun pattern, little baubles there in the bottom, but I do not like my terracotta. And this is one of my very sad plants. I do have a lot of like thriving, super happy plants. So don't get me wrong. Um, but that's one of my sad plants. It's in terracotta. I'm not a huge fan of terracotta and how they look. So that's why I have these. Um, I think for this, I'm going to put it away. That's a really hard decision. I'm going to keep it all together and I'm going to put it into my little scrappy guy right here, which is probably not the best idea of where to put it at because I probably won't pick it up for a while, but it's not like this where I know I'm going to finish, you know, my washcloth. It's a little bit, okay, I changed my mind. It's going to stay. 
it's gonna stay because I want to get that finished. So that's gonna go in the pile. I have a bumblebee wing. This will go in the save for later. And now we have drawer number three done. So exciting, just one more left. Um, and I feel like most of this drawer was things that were pretty much done that just needed the ends sewn in. So this was a little washcloth that I had made. It's supposed to be like a fried egg. I made it with cotton yarn. I just didn't like the color change right here that I did. Um, but I don't know. I'm, we're going to see where we're going to put all these ones at. Because like I said, these are finished projects that just need to be sewn up. Um, honestly, I think that this guy and this guy will be for my mom at Christmas time. So I think that I need to just start a Christmas bin and put everything in there because I have friends and family members that I just want to make different things for. These would be perfect for my mom. These are little bloomers from Bag O' Day Crochet. Um, she has a tutorial on how to make these. Um, she does the little ruffle ranges right here, which is really, really cute, but I didn't decide to do that. So I think these are going to get set aside again, Christmas presents. Um, this I think that I will scrap completely. I did not like how this bucket hat turned out. It is okay. Um, I don't know. I may or may not scrap it, but honestly, I don't think that I would ever wear this. I might, but I really don't think that I would. It is a really cute color and I pretty much got it all done. So this one's going to stay considering um, that I just need to basically attach right here and then sew in the end. So um, I really do want to finish this because it is so close to getting done. So it is going to stay this really fun yarn right here. This is Red Heart Super Saver Fair Isle. So I... <laughs> Bago Day Crochet Crystal posted a video just yesterday, I want to say it was yesterday, about Red Heart Super Saver yarns and a whole video on it, which I absolutely loved because I learned how to knit with Super Saver yarn. I started with knitting and I ended up moving my way over to crochet and I absolutely loved it, but I started off with the Red Heart Super Saver. So I don't have a ton of Red Heart Super Saver, but I do have some. Again, this is just one of them. I have an idea. I remember what I was making with this. I was making a top. So that was going to be here. You make another one and you attach it. Um, so a bit of a bigger cup than normal. It wasn't just like a bikini size. It was going to be more like crop toppy. So I thought that that was going to turn out really cute. I'm going to keep these two together and they're going to go with that other crop top that was almost done that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And then this guy is a project that I made last year. This was a design that I came up with um, that I never filmed the tutorial for. And honestly, I really hope that I could remember how the pattern worked up, but I know that I absolutely loved it. Um, I have a stitch marker hanging out right here. These are stitch markers that I had made. It's from Alice in Wonderland. So this guy's gonna go up top. This video is actually longer than I expected. Sorry guys. Um, but this guy, is just like a little poncho and it just kind of sits like that. I absolutely loved how it came out. If you guys want to see a tutorial, leave me a comment down below. I may try to do that, but I absolutely love this stitch. I love how it turned out. I love the colors, super fun. Um, and I just have to finish that one up on the bottom, but in all honesty, I don't see that one as a priority. So that one's going to get put up in the need to finish later bin. Okay, now on to organizing where everything's going to go. So if you didn't see the last video that I posted, I posted about a blanket that I just started to make. Um, I have the squares at my desk actually because I'm about to sew them together. But I think that I'm going to put that project in the third drawer down. Um, because I've gotten quite a bit of that done. That's actually more of like a personal project. I'm going to go ahead and move this guy and shove it back underneath my, um, like, what do you call it? Coffee table. Cause that's where that goes. I mean, I have so much stuff down here. Honestly, I forgot. I have like all these, all my safety eyes and everything underneath my table. I don't know why. 
Anyways, in the second drawer, I think I'm going to put the flag blanket that I'm working on. And then I need to make a section here for, um, for stitch markers and um, everything else. So this one's quite large. This is honestly where all of my stitch markers are right now is on this one project that I need to be working on more. Um, and I need to work on this tonight. It's gonna be a big work on this blanket. So this is gonna go into my second drawer right here um because that is the next biggest thing that i want to work on now everything else in here is pretty much finished things that we're going to get sold um hair scrunchies a little phone case which honestly i might just throw that into christmas gifts um i'm not really planning on doing a lot of markets so i think all of these are going to get thrown into the bottom for christmas gifts and the rest will go into market stuff because i don't really care for the rest of these um, as for these, I'm having kind of a hard time because I'm not sure. I'm going to keep the washcloth in the top drawer because that'll be my in-between. I don't know what I'm working on projects. And then the other three that I said that I was going to leave out because they're so close to being done. Unfortunately, I think it's going to go into a pile, um, in my un unmade projects because I don't want to work on them right now. I know I'm not going to get to it and realistically trying to organize everything. I want to actually keep it organized to what I know I'm going to be doing. Um, so honestly, for now, I'm going to chuck those over there into my little yarn corner. Um, anything that I am working on that we'll get to is going to go in this basket and away for now. Um, and then everything else that we went through is going to get go put away in my yarn corner in my bedroom. But anyways, you guys, that is what I have for today. I hope this was entertaining for you. I was going to do this and I said, you know what? I'm just going to film it and I'm going to put it up on YouTube because I love watching these kinds of videos. And so I figured I might as well just ramble and talk about all my yarn stuff and organize it on camera with you guys. Uh, if you made it all the way through the video, you know, thank you so much. Make sure you gave this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys organize your yarn, how often you go through your yarn stash. Does it get piled up like this? And again, this is only a small section of all the yarn stuff that I have in my house. Um, but this is my most necessity area because it's where my chair is. Anyways, yarn friends, I will see you all next time for another video. Bye.